right, in my search for finding uh, other 3D printers to talk about, I found this Zaribo or Karibu. They look exactly the same. They seem to be made out of the same parts and uh, they seem to have exactly the same pricing. Now, I don't know what the story is exactly, who owns the websites or just the forked websites of the same product. But technically speaking, I see a lot of videos about the Zaribo, but on the Karibu, I saw only one or two videos and Interestingly enough, on the Karib website, you can actually customize the 3D printer and on the Zeribo website, you cannot, but you can go and probably purchase basically each part into a big package and it's going to be shipped to you. Now, these printers are quite expensive, but they're built on the Prusa model. However, they have improvements. The good thing is that they have the extrusions are like 30 by 30 they're pretty thick and pretty sturdy and you can customize a lot of things it's a kit and you have to build it yourself however they do have one that's pre-built for you but it's more expensive and obviously the 420 it's the actual height of the z axis because you can have multiple 3d printer so let's open a new tab and go here so you can see like you have the 220 and also if you already have a prusa 3d printer you can actually buy the upgrade kit from a prusa to this 3d printer or any of them so you can buy an upgrade kit they have the upgrade kits from whatever 3d printers from prusa upgrade kit or from to 220 which is 210 dollars i think you can also customize this and so let's just take a quick look at it so as you can see you can select rod diameters that are thicker and also the bearings are thicker so basically it makes the 3d printer much sturdy okay and basically you have to get the big blocks and uh, rather than having the zip ties to secure the bed rods you have these 3d printed parts funny enough if you never knew how much to charge your 3d printed parts you can look uh, <laughs> And this kit right here, plastic parts, they're about $96, like the entire kit. And this is like $5, this faceplate. And I guess this may take an hour or two to 3D print, depending on settings. Apparently, there's a big following for these 3D printers because they're really, really good. So if you were in doubt that or not sure to buy a Prusa or you wanted to save your own pennies and buy even a printer that's better than Prusa which is kind of built on the Prusa design because some of the stuff I think comes directly from Prusa you have these like the 220 the 320 the 420 and then you have the kits the build it yourself kit so basically you buy this this is a full 3d printer like it comes from A to Z I was watching the website of Chris yeah this guy here Chris Warkochi whatever he actually bought a kit from Zeribo, but he is like really advanced in this, so he knows exactly what he's doing. But he didn't opt for the motherboard that comes with the kit. He bought a separate motherboard because uh, he bought like uh, 0.9 stepper motors rather than 1.8. That's where I also learned that my upgrade on my Sapphire S, the 0.9 steppers, I had a few problems with them because they were kind of resonating. They wouldn't kick the step. So maybe the motherboard or the stepper controllers cannot handle the 0.9 steps. So that kind of gave me the idea from him to get an SKR motherboard, which is kind of like the hot, cheap things right now. And there, everybody keeps on talking of Zaribo, like if you look it up, but let's if we do a Karibo 3D printer. Okay, Karibo, Karibo. There's not a lot of videos on the Karibo. On a quick comparison, I like the Karibo website better because you can customize your kit right here. Okay, if you want a really, really good 3D printer and headache free, uh, you don't have to upgrade anything. And it's really that good because you can, although it gets more expensive, so you can actually opt for a slice engineering heater or a mosquito hot end or a mosquito magnum hot end. So basically, you don't have to kind of buy a printer and then uh, buy and print all these upgraded parts for it. You customize your kit right here and basically you're set which is pretty cool. You get to customize it just like a computer, for example. Now, I'm not sure if these two companies are related. Based on the names and the fact that everything looks the same, I think they are related, but I don't know why one website cannot allow you to customize the 3D printer right here. It just tells you what you like, what the optional things are. I mean, these guys on uh, YouTube, they're raving about how good these 3D printers 
parts are the quality is just, is just exceptional so maybe you want to check them out apparently they're pretty good now this is quite expensive i mean you can get 3d printers that like let's say like the snap maker i mean the snap maker 2 the big version the a350 which will cost less than this and uh, i've seen a few reviews not a lot of people have reviewed them but they were quite capable and you also can put a laser on it or make a cnc out of it so just so you know if you want to get a 3d printer that's like even better than the prusa which is based on the prusa and i think they source parts from prusa this is your option and until next time i be the mon ami's farewell and adieu